Hey, what's up, guys? It's Sergeant Little 666v2 or Iborn Seller, and today I'll be doing a commentary on this gameplay video that I did a few days ago, as well as talk about some of the uh, latest uh, Battlefield 3 news, as well as some that I missed uh, from like two days ago. So let's get to it. Right now, I'm using the uh, PKP Pecheneg, Pecheneg, stuff like that, and uh, I end up going. I forgot the final score. I think it was like 36 and. 14 or something. I forgot what it was. But uh, anyway, let's get down to the news. Some of the ones that I missed were um, they showed off pretty much all the dog tags that will be featured in the game. And I guess I'll just uh, describe some of, some of the uh, ones that caught my eye. For example, this one that's uh, imagine a tank but with a skull. Like <laughs> the main battle tank is a skull with treads and a huge. Uh, Cannon, so that one was just really <laughs> cool looking, and pretty much all the duck tags is uh, like it features some kind of skull or a lightning or something really cool. Like uh, for instance, let's see. there's a dinosaur one, there's a <laughs> there's a Hello Kitty one, there's a bat one. There's all kinds of duck tags, so there's gonna be a lot of to choose from so if you're looking to customize your dog tags you're gonna have a hell of a time you know choosing which one to uh, equip so that's pretty cool and the next uh, new story that I missed f uh, from a few days ago was uh, you can change your uh, origin ID now so uh, there was some news that you can change your origin ID by using some um, some iPhone game but you don't have to do that anymore. You can actually go just go to the uh, Origin website and change your uh, nickname as many times as you want. So that's good because <laughs> my nickname is Star Chalo and I don't want to use that one. So that's good news for me. And the news for today are let's see. The first one is the Como Rose is back. So if you remember Back Company, not Back Company. Sorry about that. I meant Battlefield Two. You had the combo rows, so you hold down Q and you would bring up this um, communication rows to, you know, say thanks or I owe you one or give me a ride, I need ammo, you know, and so forth. But that was, it wasn't present in the Bad Company series, but now it's back for Battlefield 3. But it's going to be included in the Day 1 patch, so if you don't update the, the uh, game Day 1, you won't see that in the regular multiplayer, so that's what the uh, Day 1 patch includes. The Como Rose. And to follow up on the NVIDIA drivers, NVIDIA and AMD uh, are going to be releasing their drivers soon. Actually, AMD already released their drivers, so if you have an AMD car, go get those uh, new drivers to use for Battlefield 3. And NVIDIA is going to be releasing theirs on the 24th, so if you have an NVIDIA car, get their drivers on the 24th. And next uh, new story is pretty cool actually, because Dice is letting people um, kind of change some of the uh, maps from the Back to Karkin expansion. And this one is uh, Golf of Oman. They're letting you uh, rename all of the control points, going from I think it was called Rock Fort to whatever you choose to call it. So uh, I'll put in the description where to go. It's uh, on Facebook. It's like a poll that you go there. And choose a name. So, and if you submit a name, you actually put your name down in the uh, credit. So that's pretty cool. And let's see. The next one is the uh, Battlefield 3 beta feedback changes. So they change a few things from the uh, beta uh, into the final game. The first one being the improved squad functionality. So this is the quote that says, "There will be." Uh, improved squad, squad functionality in the retail game including, but not limited to, the ability to create squads prior to launching into the game, sticking with your squ squad when joining a game, and continuing together through future games. If team balance on the server allows it. Inviting friends to a squad and changing squads once in game. So, you can finally, <coughs> excuse me, you can finally uh, change squads, you know, while in game. You don't have to, you know, go back into battle log and do all that stuff. So. That's great. And the next one is a more accessible settings menu. So it says the ability to modify your settings via the viewport screen has been added into the retail game. So you no longer have to be in game, you know, with the uh, risk of you getting killed 
just to change you know the resolution or some uh, video settings or audio settings or whatever so they can just do it from the deploy screen you don't have to actually be in game to change it so that's great the next one is uh, improved kill cam it says in the open beta the kill cam would sometimes behave erratically this has been fixed for the launch of the retail game so I guess like um, when the kill cam will like I don't know go underground and like look up into the uh, map or something because that happened a lot of um, a lot of times in the beta so I'm glad they're fixing that and the next one is just Neko optimization they're saying that they're gonna take a lot of the feedback from the beta and just improve on the uh, on the netcode further so that's great news and that's pretty much all I got for you guys today as far as Battlefield 3 news I think there was something else about uh, some Medal of Honor thing that was in the uh, Battlefield 3 um, online pass voucher like on the back of it but I don't know if you guys care about that so I didn't really include it so just a small thing if you care about Medal of Honor I guess so but uh, anyway I guess that's all I got for news I think I should comment on the video I think I was uh, I think I set myself up right there with the PKP and I, I just set up my bipod down and I think I got a bunch of kills from there because just people didn't get the hint that they shouldn't go down that hallway because I was just there waiting for them and I ended up going 30 and something so I, I was doing pretty well with this gun I mean this gun uh, can kill you like in three shots so it can kill you so quickly and it's so accurate with the bipod it was just ridiculous <sighs> so I really like using it. Let's see. And of course, I'm just camping, so. <laughs> and that guy had the worst fun ever. Oh my god, that was terrible where he spun in the middle of everything. So, too bad for him, I guess, but. Good for me. And I went 36 and 10, I think I just saw if I saw the leaderboard correctly. And of course, I'm still waiting for more guys. I'm just camping it out, just waiting for people to come. I'm not gonna move. I don't think I move at all from here, so. Kind of a boring gameplay to show, but, you know. It was still just fun getting a lot of kills just from there, because people just kept coming. I mean, they never went the other way. Or maybe I guess my teammates wouldn't let them, so. I guess that was the only way that they could. That they thought that they could get through, so. But, uh, big mistake, because I was just there waiting for them. So. And I guess I, I should talk about briefly about the news, I guess. I mean, <clears throat> I'm glad that they're bringing back the Coma Rose. I mean, it was it was needed in Battlefield back up in the two. So I'm really glad they're bringing it back. <clears throat> Man, my throat. And um, let's see what else. Oh, I guess that's the only thing. I mean, changing my origin ID, that's a big thing for me because I sure as hell don't want to be called Sarge 666 while in-game. I'd rather be called Born Shutter, so... Yeah, 36 and 10, yeah, like I said, so it was a pretty good game. I camped a lot, so that's probably why I did so well, so. But whatever, you know. It's all good. I mean, they would have done it to me, so. <laughs> if I can do it to them, I will do it, so. And I got a lot of ribbons just for camping right there with the machine gun, so. A lot of combat efficiency uh, ribbons. I think that was only seven kills to and you get one of those so I'm almost 10,000 points just from one game so that was pretty good but anyway guys that's all I got for you today so if you guys could uh, rate the video comments on it that would be great so um, <clears throat> I guess I'll see you guys later so goodbye